Hello Gothic friends, Razin is my name. Welcome back to Gothic 1 Unreal Engine, the worst let's play of the world. So last time we have spoken with uh, Gilbert, the hermit that ran from the old camp because of the guards. Now we are going to go to the hell, probably. Yeah. We have to go to the old mine and search for the mine crawler nest because the brotherhood of the sect camp, they need to perform a ritual and they need our help. Oh, another enemy that spawned here because we are in the second chapter. Well, they didn't spawn, they just got added. What's our level? So we are level 9. 31 learn points, that's a lot. We can get 30 strength more. To hit even harder with the sword, but we are going to go with a... With a magic at first and see how it's going to look because it might look very awesome even to the magic the magic now is also oops the magic is free aim and it's not a locked anime uh, anymore on the enemies that's going to be very hard to manage to oh there is a mushroom that we missed that cannot be in our playthrough so a goblin So the two-handed is very powerful in this version because of the AoE. Because you can hit a lot more and they have a lot of the range. So Cavalier, my little friend. Show me your goods. Okay, he got something stronger. The blood flies we sold to him, yeah. We don't need any money yet, so. How late is it? 13, okay, it's not so late. We don't need to sleep yet. I so wish there was a running speed bonus. Except the potions, but they are quite expensive. For one minute, you have to pay 100. Or, yeah, see how far away it was and we still managed to hit it. Anything inside here? Oh, two more rats. 100 experience. Yeah, look here. Oh, we didn't manage to hit the other one. Weird. At the 6th chapter or the 5th chapter where we get the Reed Seal Sword, I don't know if we are supposed to go magic with it or choose the sword for the undead. The magic is okay, but the problem is they can uh, stun lock you, they can cancel your anim animation and then you are not going to hit as hard or as often. And while with the sword, we can simply just go through them. Because we are going to be an all-around character, we might just pick the original sword. In my eyes, that seems quite legit. There are more goblins. So nice. And we can see so much of the world now. Down there are black goblins. We we will be starting to clear almost everything soon. I mean, not everything, but the the cheaper portions of the the shortest portion of the map because we need the experience for the magic, and we are we are we are going to try with the magic to fight with them. Sorry for the blabbering there. This looks so shallow. That's why you don't really actually have to clear everything in this first chapter because look, people, monsters keep getting added and then you will have to keep going back and forth to their location. Okay, nothing here. But later, later chapters we are going to get speed potions, like a lot of them anyway, and then we can enjoy the, the run. We will have to clear this forest also. With that we can do with a focus stone. And this looks very nice but quite empty. Ah, another scavy. There is a moloret up there I saw. Yeah we are uh, 
There it is. No need to. We will do that on our way back actually. Because we are going to go through this forest. We have to go to the old camp. And become a mage. If I'm not mistaken. And as I said, I really wish that they were adding something here. Here, for example, could have been like really guards guarding the mine. Not that the new camp guys could come here and some merchants because it's a good spot where people could frequent the mine. They they would have the ore because they dug it. We hear something. It's too far away. Somewhere we could probably use it. What were we hearing? And yes, we are not stone stoned from the weeds from the sex camp. We literally heard someone speaking. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Nothing for you. Oh, it's so dark. Luckily, hey, we have you. the torch. I heard I could buy lockpicks here. Well, since you were brainy enough to find that out, you can have some. Ten or a piece. Yeah, you are selling to a shadow. How many do we have? Seventeen, yeah, let's buy. Buy them all. Do we need money? No. Later on when we need money, because we don't have to pay attention who has a uh, or and who doesn't in the in the original you would always have to buy from everyone that had or and stuff but now that's not a problem can i trade i have everything you have everything that i don't need apparently okay we have a templar here luckily we have done some of the quests We will have to do a quest for Ian, the big boss of the old mine. No clue how Shadow became the boss and not the one of the guards. Yeah, we don't have anything for us, right? Snipes still chilling about, and they allow it. I'll see you later. Aaron, mad at us? Yep, nothing new. I'm curious if inside the, the cave here, the, the mine, that the night time really affects the lightning, because it seems like that. Like for some reason when it's dark outside, it's dark, darker here inside also. Oh, the guy you have, it's not here because we sent him one more time to... to the guys, to the guards to eat and he believed us. Hey, you. We fooled him twice. No clue why it was Good that allowed. Does he complain now? Wilbert? Oh no. Listen. What? what? Yeah, this this seems bugged. Alberto? Can I try? Yep. Yeah, all the merchants here became useless now. He and my friend. There must be a nest of mine crawlers somewhere here. There are probably dozens of nests here. Listen, I need to get to this nest now. I don't have time to see to it now. Our masher doesn't work anymore. The gear wheel broke a few hours ago. I've no idea where to get a new one. Just get me a gear wheel, then I'll see to your problem. A gear wheel? Where am I supposed to get that? No idea. I'm as much at a loss as you are. But there's an old broken masher in a side shaft. Maybe you'll be lucky there. Okay, maybe. So that's the farthest that we went last time. Now we have access to to further down into the mine. Well, we had before, but there was no point for us to do it. So, Templar, we have to heal ourselves. Luckily, we have a lot of meat. It's unbelievable. Yeah, we need better rings and amulet. This doesn't do anything to us, but let's just equip it. Hey so, Gordon Abar. What do you know about the mine crawlers? The crawlers must have a nest somewhere. If we only knew where, we could destroy the whole brood. 
You guys don't know. We do know what. Oh. Are you planning to attack me? No, my friend. Smart ass. One more. I believe they don't give the plates because Wolf didn't teach us yet. And okay, the mandibles we can get. We might have to to learn the level two one times the second hand. I mean the two handed weapon. Sorry for the brain fart. Because we have zero percent of doing the crit. Healing would be smart. Luckily, we see a mushroom there on the ground. And about the alchemy ingredients, it looks like they are really not implemented into the game yet. But by the time the another version is going to come out, we might have been done with a gothic one with this playthrough. Going to do another playthrough once there is a final version. Okay, we just lift it down. There is a ring. We need a torch. Have to remember to put it out. Ring of flame protection. Why so much flame protection? Who's spitting so much fire that you guys need flame protection? Ooh. Okay. There is no way we can survive that fall. Yeah, protection against fire tree. And uh, armor? Where is our arm? Protection is only armor, weapons, arrows, fire, and I saw that there are rings that protect us against a sharp weapon and protection against some odd something else like stamp. What? Well, uh, stamp for you shouldn't believe everything you hear, maybe. weapons damage. The digger doing his job being protected by two Templars. The Allen Aleph guy told us something where, where there is a guard guarding there are potions and stuff. Maybe that this is the thing that he meant. Yeah, this is a guard protecting something. Or looking at something. Minecrawlers. Oh, lots of mushrooms. This is where we get the gear wheel. Where could be the, the potions that the guy meant? So we can even jump there. Oh, this is the potion that he meant. And we get a pickaxe to actually try it. Or it's just a generic attack like in the original. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. How do we exit? We manage it up here. We already have two permanent potions, one of strength and one of mana. We are going to use that once we... Okay, there is nothing here, right? There is no way we can jump there. Ah, we are going to take the hit, it's no big problem. Especially the mana, we need to increase it by a lot, I just remembered. And this is where I meant that going down the the ladder would be nicer because we cannot do anything now. And they are going to come and kick our ass. Just watch it. Yep. See, that's a problem. And that's what I meant. Getting down of a ladder now it's going to be hard. But better this way. How are we going to do this? Because as soon as we try to get down... Stop taking so much damage. 
wow are we really going to end up here like not being able to pass because of the the way the ladders work now yeah, way too much damage I have no clue what we can really do about this stupid yeah they stun lock us I bet they, they, the devs didn't even come here to check this portion okay somehow we managed something yeah they, this is a big problem in my eyes you have you cannot jump off the ladder fast the, the going down is taking forever when you jump you take a lot of damage and you get stun locked as it seems come here you beastie weren't there four of them Raven's herb, he has herbs here. So this looks like a spot to get a, the wheel that the guy needs, the Ian. Where could it be? Or did the mind crawler take it and run with it? Ooh, lots of herbs. Raven, you have a lot of herbs here. Okay, nothing here. Well, where is the cog that we need? It was here, wasn't it? that I'm mistaken. It's another cave. But this looks like the place. Didn't any of the mine, mine crows land on it? No, they didn't land on it. Where could be that cog? Oh, don't tell me it's not implemented into the game yet and we are stuck here oh i saw something ah there it is look gear wheel was on the ground luckily we found it must be a full version or i mean a full release that we can go from the beginning to the end of the game So we can go back to Ian and then we will continue further down. Because we will need his approval to actually come back here. I mean not here but to end to open the gate. There is a gate down there. I hope we don't have any more ladders that we have to to go down on where there are enemies oh boy how is going to be the new mine going to unfold hey you i have the gear wheel hey well done i think that'll work now what about you you're looking for the nest of the mine crawlers hmm. just go to Askan and tell him to open the gate so you can search the dark shafts just tell him everything's gonna be fine then he'll know that i've given you permission I'm still looking for the crawler's nest. I've already told you. Yeah, we will go to Askan. Then we have to come back up here anyway. Because we need three gore to go with us to the mine crawlers and steal our experience. It's so weird that they, they block the 
the entrance down there and then they are wondering where could be the minecrawl nest. Like really. Not so many diggers here actually. Digger. Templar. Gornakosh. Mother Gor. What are you doing here? I'm hunting mine crawlers. Can you tell me something about crawler hunting? There's just a single rule to remember when hunting crawlers. When you see them, run at them and kill them as fast as you can. Fight without fear and kill without mercy. Can you tell me more about the crawlers? They act instinctively. Anything non-crawler is killed. Use this knowledge in your fight against them. May the sleeper awaken. May the sleeper... Yeah, may he awake. I'm looking for the nest of the mine crawlers. There are many caves next to the main shaft in the mine, but we haven't found any nest. May the sleeper awaken. Okay, there is something here. We are going to check that also. So our first orc, he's a slave. He's just looking. Viper was a very good NPC in the original because he had a lot of ore to trade with, which now made him totally useless. I hear you're the smelter. You're a smart boy indeed. Thank you. I hear you only melt down part of the ore. Some time ago we used to melt a lot down, but Gomez and the mages were not too happy about that. They hung around here for weeks to examine the ore and everything else. They fiddled about and stuck their noble noses in things they didn't have a clue about. Finally, we only smelted a part of the ore. The mages never came back here. Can you give me ore? If you can give me any goods. No, he has nothing. Normally he has ore, but no. He's useless, useless, sadly. So then we can clear those caves here. More experience for us. Hey you! Oh, Garp. What's the orc doing here? The guards caught him. Ever since, he's been forced to work here. He's not even in chains. Why doesn't he just run away? He tried that once. The guards gave it to him in such a way that he couldn't walk for a couple of weeks. Since then, he's never tried it again. So humans have uh, orcs, slaves, but the uh, orcs have no humans. That would be a very nice addition in the original, hopefully. You don't have anything on you, little skelly. No, he really has nothing. Uh, lots of herbs. The raven's herb. Do go in the in the dark. Nice. Such a powerful sword for free. Stun locked. They really stun lock you. How are we going to fight the queen if they really stun lock us like that? Crazy. Okay, do we have to switch to one handed? Like, really? Oh! Sometimes it's going so smooth. And sometimes it's like a pain in the back door. So we didn't miss anything. Okay, we will have to take this road anyway to go back. A barrel where we can hide probably, yeah. What are you doing here? Act of healing, stone crusher. There is something else. 
strength of energy. Isn't there supposed to be a bow somewhere? That looks like that's it here in this cave. Oh boy, how is it going to be the fight with the mind controller queen? If those guys hold so much. Is there something up? Nah, no, why would it be? Oh boy, the damage, the taking of damage, probably the acrobatic. Learning it will actually reduce the damage you take when you fall down. It's not implemented the way it's, you can jump, but might be that you take less damage. We'll have to look into that. Oh, there was something. Hell mushroom. Okay, not what we really hoped for. But here is another cave. There are parts of skeletons here. How could they lie here for so long? Why didn't anyone help them? Oh boy, look how many. Okay, they, they are powerful. There are many mine crawlers that we have to kill. I don't know. Let's try one handed and see how it is going with one handed. Ah, there is the bow. Those guys got the bow. Ooh, more. Okay, this is also not so bad. Probably we are going to go with one handed because that's what we know. We don't fight with one handed. We deal one extra hit, but we can do it faster and safer. I don't remember this part here. Oh. He did have something, right? Oh, ring of lesser dexterity, okay. What ring do we not need? Life, strength. Five dexterity. Yeah, we don't need the de dexterity. We are not a dexterity character, so no need to take the extra 10 life. If we would want to use a better bow, then yeah. But we are not going to play with the bow. Ah, this takes forever. Get down, get down, get down. No damage, okay, good. The bow is going to be hard on magic for sure because of the free aim. We shall see. Yeah, you guys are safe now. I cleared the back cave because you were just sitting here. Lots of mushrooms. And they are from hell. We want experience, we have to fight those guys also before the cave collapses. But I don't know if we really need that. Because as soon as we attack one of them, probably they are going to chain attack us. Another work, two work slaves you guys got. The digger doing not his job. Not good for business, I believe. If Gomez finds out, you're going to end up food for the lurkers. And we reach the end of the cave. Where Askan is like to open the gate for us, right? Any 
anything here? Nope, nothing. Just some diggers. So ask him. Hey you. There must be a nest of mine crawlers here somewhere. The whole bloody mountain is just one big crawler nest. Why have you closed the shaft? It didn't matter how many crawlers we killed. More and more just kept coming out. Sounds like there must be a nest somewhere near. Let me open the gate. No, this gate can only be opened with Ian's permission. Nothing will be done before. Hey, how are you doing? Okay. So long as nobody don't get the idea of opening this gate, I don't need to hurt nobody either. What's so special about this gate? Mine crawlers. Big, bad mine crawlers. Lots and lots and lots of them. Hey, Ashgan, you may open the gate now. I've already told you. Only if Ian. Ashgan, everything's going to be fine. And best regards from Ian. Well then, if Ian is responsible for this, but only under one condition. What condition is that? Just give me two or three tempers for support. I don't want to be here on my own when the crawlers come out of the shaft. You're not on your own. I'm here. We are going to kill them. So we need two, three, but we are going to get three tempers because we have three gores here. That's why he says two or three. You can get the two down here, and in the middle there is a third one. We are going to get them probably. They give us more experience. Oh, 500 experience and level up again. That's very good. Oh, but what do they need for us? Hey, you! It looks so nice. Such good details. I know where the crawler's nest is. I'm going there to get something for Kalam, so he can brew a stronger potion. Then you'll need my blade. I'll join you. Good. We'll meet at the big passage. Oh, he didn't want us. Oh, he didn't want hey, anything you. from us. I need your help. I'm looking for secretion for Kalam, and I know where the crawler's nest is. Will you be there when the passage is opened? When fighting crawlers, it often costs a lot of blood. If you bring me a healing potion, you can count me in. Me this sleep. What kind of potion can we give to him? A healing potion takes a lot of. Hey, you! Probably gives more experience if we give him that, right? Here, maybe that'll help. Thanks. You can count on me. We'll meet down below with Ascan. I'll be there. Let's level up. So they give us 250 experience for sending. Well, 170 health now. So that's a lot. We have to become more tankier. And the guards, uh, the guards, the other Templar, the other Gore is right there. We met them when we run, when we passed them by. Right? Yes, there he is. Does he want anything for, from us? Gorna Bar. I need your help. I'm looking for secretion for Kalam, and I think I know where the crawler's nest is. If we open the passage, will you be there as well? The crawler's nest. Finally, my sword is at your service. Oh, that's it. Thank you. I hope he's not going to fall down and simply die. So quiet. Yeah, this looks really beautiful. And it gives the feeling that it is really huge. As it's supposed to be, I believe. We don't need to wait for the other guy here anyway, we just need to ask him to be able to open the gate for us. Oh, they are all three here. Hey, you! May this. May the. May this. Yeah, may the sleeper. So, we got all the Templars here prepared to fight the crawlers. I would like to fight them alone to take all the experience, but they are going to interfere and 
take some experience, which is okay. We can beat them and get their experience if we really are hungry for experience. But I'm going to make a cut here, guys. I'll see in the next episode where we are going to check the Minecraft's nest and become a fire mage, hopefully. So thank you very much, guys, for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye-bye. Uh,